Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You know that I love wines and wine gadgetry, and for that reason, the people who represent Centolino ended up sending me one of them, and a, a Centolino. Looks like a wine bong. It basically, what it is, is an aerator. So instead of uh, drinking wine directly out of the bottle, well, I mean, not like you know, directly out of the bottle, I mean pouring it into a glass and drinking it immediately, uh, you want the wine to breathe, a red or a white. Uh, more so on the red than the white. But uh, if you decant the wine, it can take a long time. So the idea is that you could use an aerator to speed up the breathing process. Uh, so it's Italian hand-blown glass, and it looks nice uh, right there. We've got uh, a few components to it, um, including uh, the chamber where the wine will be poured into, uh, this portion here that slips right over the end of the bottle, and we will then pour out of the bottle into the chamber. Got to make sure that uh, one end is fastened well, otherwise you're going to make quite a mess. Keep going, I guess. Been using it for a while, and I got to tell you, um, it's a little clunky. Looks nice, uh, but you have to hold the bottle a certain way in order for everything to work. So when you actually pour the wine out of the chamber, you have to make sure the bottle is pointed upwards rather than you're thinking you have to hold the bottle down. So it takes a little bit of relearning. Don't know if I appreciate that. Not to mention, having tried other instant wine aerators, uh, I can't say that the Centolino does a fantastic job at uh, opening up the wine. Having tried uh, the same bottle through different aerators, uh, Centolino certainly does work, but I don't think it's extremely effective. More than anything, I think the Centolino looks nice. It's a, uh, you know, it's something that you could you know, show off and say, it's Italian hand-blown glass. And see, when you're done, you can cap the other end right there. Nice and easy. Um, plus, more than anything, um, being someone who does drink wine out of the box, some good box wines out there, especially some Pinots, um, I can't use this on a boxed wine, so I can't use it all the time. Uh, either way, at least you uh, can know that the Centolino does work theoretically, and in function, it somewhat misses the cork, so to speak. Uh, if you're looking at picking up something that will complement your glasses in some capacity, or your flutes, or whatever you you know have in your cabinet if you have anything, maybe you drink out of plastic cups. How do I know? Centolino may look uh, you know well stacked among the other glass that you have, but beyond that, eh, it's okay. The good news is though is that now I get to uh, drink some wine with the person who's holding the camera who also happens to enjoy wine, and she's reaching out for the glass there. So there you go. Uh, if any uh, uh, other wine gadget people are out there, uh, let me know if you know of any others that I could take a look at. Uh, anything related to wine and, and gadgetry I'm into, especially the, the, the red wine. You a winery out there? You, you, you got some wines that you want to get promoted? I'll drink them! So will Eme. It's like coffee, not like taste-wise, I mean, but I mean, you, know, you get strong flavors, different flavors, depending on how something was created or processed or just birthed from this earth. Uh, and I would uh, much rather have a, a beverage like this than something that was pretty much uh, manufactured entirely as in a beverage that is loaded with sugar and sweetener and junk. My body knows what to do with this, and it makes me happy. <clears throat> so I have to thank Centolino for passing this along to give me another excuse to drink some wine. Chris at Perillo.com. Mm. 
my email address, and then of course geeks.perlo.com, where we have other wine uh, geeks hanging out and posting their reviews of wine and wine gadgetry in general. Gadgetry? Did I say gadgetry? It's only my third set. Or was it my second? Mm. <sighs> is Ime going to sneeze? Oh, her arm is hurting, so I better I better hurry up. <laughs> she's making all these weird faces like I thought she was going to sneeze. But she's not. Okay, I gotta hurry it up because her arms are ready to fall off and she's ready to start chugging the wine. That's not an official term, and she doesn't do that, generally. <clears throat> Got a live video feed, and sometimes you will see me drinking wine there uh, with the chat room. Typically talking tech, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com.